Um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to create your stop motion film. It's really fun, it's really easy, and you can use iMovie. Okay, um, I already imported my images. All you have to do is just click and drag all the images. Uh, most of you used Photo Booth, some of you use the camera. It's the same concept. As long as you have all of the images here, you're good to go. Now the first thing you want to go ahead and do, obviously you guys can see that each one of my frames is four seconds. That's no good in stop motion. So I need to do a command A. I need to select all. I'm going to simply double click here. I'm going to put the magic number which is 0.01. .01. Make sure that applies to all stills is selected. Otherwise it will not work. Okay? And what you're going to want to go ahead and do, double check and make sure that you see all the numbers there, that it's okay. Yeah? Then you're going to go into your crop tool, which is right here. And then you're simply going to make sure that it fits. If it says Ken Burns, it will not work. It's going to have that funky effect and you don't want, you want to make sure that it fits. Okay? And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to press done. Easy, right? Okay, let's go ahead and see how everything's going. Now, as you can see, we have that fast motion effect going on. Okay, I already went ahead and inserted some sound effects. I'm going to go ahead and delete that for the example. Now, really important in this, you need to insert a background, my friends. Okay, so the way you can do that, you're going to click on your little world icon. And here, you're going to see that you have a bunch of backgrounds that you can select. Well. For the example, I'm going to go ahead and select the curtain background. I'm going to put it here, and this is going to work as my title. I'm then going to select the text tool, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select uh, the centered title, which is nice. I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to go ahead and give my stop motion film a title. The Charlie Brown stop motion film is what I'm going to call it. All right, and then I'm going to press done. Very simple. Next step, I'm going to scroll down, and of course I'm going to need a background for my conclusion, right? Not for the conclusion, but for the end. I'm going to go ahead and put the stars. Now here, as you can see, it's the number 4. 4S or 4 seconds is really not a lot of time, guys. So I would definitely recommend that you double click, and maybe give it like 10 seconds. 10S for 10 seconds, and you're going to press done. Very simple. As you guys can see that the background has now extended in length. So now I'm going to go back to my text tool and I'm going to use the scrolling credits. Very easy. Simply click and drag and I'm going to put it right here. And now I can go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and maybe I want to write a special thanks to and the name of the people who helped you. Maybe Billy Bob helped you. Yeah. Maybe Billy Bob was the cameraman. I don't know. Whoever. Maybe Susie. Uh, maybe she worked behind the scenes. Yeah. Anyways, it doesn't really matter, but just as long as you have the credits, it will be okay. Done. Very simple. And as you guys can see here, there I have plenty of time to read it. Great. Now, the last thing I want to mention to you guys, I definitely would recommend that you insert uh, some sound because stop motion without any sound is really just kind of lame and boring, and we don't want that. So what we want to do, we want to go ahead and use the music symbol, all right? And I'm going to go ahead and look and see if I have anything maybe interesting here. Okay. Um, here we have a bunch of sound effects. Just for the example, I'm going to use the first one. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it here. And I'm just going to drop it. Okay, and as you guys can see here. Now, I, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, do you guys see those double arrows right there happening? Okay, well, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. You actually can change the length if you want, just by dragging it a little bit. Just drag it. It might take a while, but it'll be worth it. So just drag, 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 drag it. Keep on dragging it. There you go. Okay. And drag it just a bit more. Okay. 
So let's see what we got so far. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press this space bar. The Charlie Brown stop motion film. Easy, that was a piece of cake, right? Now, this is the most important part. If you do not do this, it will be really hard for you to receive a grade in this class. So, what you wanna do, you wanna go ahead and make sure that you share your work, right? You're gonna simply export the movie. Now, sometimes this menu pops up, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you'll see the menu like that. Well, just make sure that you click on the little arrow that drops it down, okay? Look for your USB memory in this case. I'm gonna use this one, I'm gonna make a brand new folder. Stop motion films, completed, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and create. And the name of mine is called the Charlie Brown Stop Motion, okay? Make sure you have either a large file, obviously it can be much bigger if you want, depending on where it is that you want the stop motion film to be seen. If you want it to be seen on your computer or on a television that isn't so, so big, yeah, large is all right, or a medium, yeah, but you'll see right here that we have these things selected, so it'll show you the quality um, that your film can be seen in. But I like to use large, and you're simply going to export. This shouldn't take too, too long. It should take about a minute. And when you are finished, you will have your completed stop motion film in your USB memory stick. So I hope this tutorial was really helpful. I hope it answers any and all of your questions. Uh, remember that doing stop motion, it can be fun. You know, you just got to have your photographs ready and you just got to click and drag your photographs into a new project. Remember, do not delete anybody's work. Just go into file and new project if you're doing it for the first time. And I'll see you guys in class. Bye-bye.